Hello friends, welcome back to the Smart Exceller. This is the Smart Exceller with a new video on the project timeline or milestones. So you can see me refer to my couple of videos in the previous sections, sessions and uh, this is a continuation for the third video and it's a bit, little bit tricky video and if you know you know how to use these things in Microsoft Excel that's going to be a feather in your cap and we have a bunch of projects and we have many ERPs you can do this. but something doing in the Excel is a, a remarkable improvement in your life or in a career for a small sector industries also so just a recap in a couple of videos I would like to show you that how a simple videos I have made and uh, how to how it works actually so if you do this you can see that you would have you have like zero how does it how does it change then if you wait for so how these things are calculated so next and after that i have made for the the formula over here for the year and but this is a, a same as this formula so we have the same thing in july and this same in outline this for six months and if you have for one year also how we can do that and if you want you can uh, you can just click by grouping you can see the, the next part in here so it's some July to somebody if you want to see that you can see from Jan. So this is for the betterment of your project's calculation and uh, convenience and uh, so I'm going to send, tell you how to make this and how to use this. So before I start so you can see this is Jan and someone have already made this. So this is going to be this is just for the indication. So if you have again it's a big lengthy one, but I don't want to make a whole and you can pop into the pasting for it. To have a better view, I'd like to show you how it can be done. So first I'll be increasing the font size. So you can see the column with this 0.78. So something below this can make you the thing more visible. Just for the clear of visibility, we'll start with this and uh, how it start is how to start is and uh, how to start is going to be like I'm just showing in shape and uh, if you can see this area and should be should be connected to this one should be I'm just just trying to make this more easier so here so this will be greater than equal to this so before that let's start this i'm going to make this a one by one so it is jam so you can see you can go to the custom and you can see in custom b dot and this is where you select this so if you start putting filling the angle there but you will get the things on board and you can just put it down so so it will make so it will be third. So if you can have the bigger one, but this is just for a sake of taking. So now when you have this, you have to do this equal to an if condition. So if we be like this one, sorry, this one is greater than equal greater than equal to this one then we'll have a certain result so if we close this parenthesis greater than equal to so if it's true then I'd have certain so if it is true I'm going to have one more if in that so it will be like if open parenthesis and this one is greater than equal to this then you want to get an answer if it is true then I'll be having a one so this if is for the logical test value is true 
and value if it is false so if it is this one value if it is true and if value is false i'm doing the double quotes and closing the parenthesis so in the same way so it's going to give this to 16 january so when i pull this angry rabbit down so you can see this is logical test is the value and this is false but here logical test this is the value and logical test this is the value logical test this is the value and this is the value is false but it doesn't move because we have to close this also but what will happen if i don't close i got the answer anyhow so let me just drag so it's 16 January. So I'm going to make this to plus seven. So it just for seven days. So when I put when I put this down, so you're not getting the right answer because you have to put the cell reference. So C4 is going to be the column width. So C4 I'll be doing this. One, two, three times F4 and E3, one and two. Same again, E3, one and two. So this will be moving in this way, direction. And then again, B4 is here. So it will be moving in down, downward direction. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So if I hit enter, and when I try to pull this down, you can see I'm getting an answer as one because I put the formula in the same format. But if I move on, you can see, I can make this into any way. So I can pull it down to whatever end I have. So now, if you want, I can make and close this if also. So I don't want to judge it in the way. So let it, let it be in the same way for the time being. So when I put this down, so I'll get the count of days in seven. Now I will be decreasing the width of column. So I'll be making it to less than seven, eight. So again, you can see this mark. If you want to reduce more, you can also do that. You can see how it gets vanished so it's up to yeah. so it's going to be too much so already we have a data but it's then hidden away so now if you pull the formula over here they are ones and twos and again i put the same formula downwards If I expand, I can see ones and all. But now I want to make this into a color format. So I'll be selecting this area. And I'm going to make this into conditional format. So it's a conditional format and manage as with a new rule. And the format only says that contain and Cells value equals to one. So the cell value is one. So I'll give it some fancy color, you know, fill with uh, okay. I'm going to fill this with this one and do okay. So now you can see how it has been selected in this way. But now if you think it's too much uh, horrible, you can change this also. You can the borders, you can make it into normal borders and colors. If you want, you can have a split. If I think this, you can have a split, you know, by selecting the border, thick border, so you can have a separate border. So now, I'm going to, we have already seen this, 
the formula is very simple and then you just do this you have to pull the formula so if i make any changes over here if i make this into 15 so you can see automatically the things get selected and uh, if you want to continue the same thing you can see the things getting selected here now if you want to make this till 25 or if i make this manually dash two so you can see so we can and this and uh, by this formula only you can so you can if you want you can add some data over here and make the things more feasible so we can see the data sheet over here so by this way i'm going to uh, make this into a strong database by just doing this and we can make the formats i in the next videos i'm going to show you how to do the same things in quarters so i'm working on that and uh, you can see if you want to see the quarters selected with the milestone so i hope you find this video useful and i would like to ask you to uh, do the homework and if you have any doubts you can give me your comments on this and give me your feedback so thanks for watching my videos and please subscribe to my channel and share this video and see you in the next video thank you very much